On this first episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, we're going to be going over a high-level explanation of the 5S methodology and what the S's of 5S are. We even have a bonus S for you, so stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. You can find the show notes to each episode, links to information mentioned on the podcast, the social media platforms we're on, and anything else related to the podcast at warehousesafetytips.com. If you're a seasoned podcast listener, this podcast is going to be different from most that you listen to. It's based around exactly what the name implies, warehouse safety tips. And since the people that are in this industry are very busy, we know time is money and each episode will be as short and as to the point as possible. Now with that said, let's get to the podcast. To kick things off, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to listen to the very first episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. We thought our first tip should be something that integrates safety, and that's the 5S methodology. The subject of 5S is something that you need to familiarize yourself with very securely. Here are just a few of the reasons why. One, it's going to make you more organized. Two, it's going to make you more productive. Three, it's going to make your environment much safer. Fourth, but certainly not least, all the above mentioned reasons save time and money, and that makes everyone happier. Next, I'd like to identify two types of people. You're either someone who knows almost nothing about 5S, or you're someone who works with it every day. If you're the first person mentioned, then hopefully this information helps to introduce you to the subject. Now, if you're the second, a refresher of why it's so important never hurts. Today, we're gonna be given a high level look at all the S's of 5S, including that bonus S mentioned at the start of the podcast. Developed in Japan, 5S methodology is a philosophy that advocates using specific steps to organize the workplace as well as working practices. Its goals are to improve efficiency and eliminate waste as well as improving safety and morale in the workplace. There's a Japanese word synonymous with the 5S methodology and that word is Kaizen. It comes from the word Kai, which means change, and Zen, which means to make good or better. When you put them together, you have the principle of constant improvement and or change for the better. Now the steps to improve efficiency are sort. This is the step where you sort and categorize items and separate what is needed, allowing only the bare essentials needed for operating and removing everything else. The elimination of excessive items frees up space, saves time, improves process flow, and allows the staff to operate efficiently. Now, we're going to go to the straighten or set in order. This step is arranging items that are needed so that they're easy to locate, transport, use, and identify locations for all the items so that anybody can find them. Now, once that task is completed, return the items to their specific locations. After that, we come to shine. That's to clean the workplace and equipment on a regular basis in order to increase safety and maintain standards and identify defects. Before moving on to our next S, here's a word from one of our sponsors. If you've ever been to or worked in a warehouse, you know just how important safety is to both management and staff. It's almost impossible to go 10 steps without seeing safety tape, angles, signs, and or products related to safety. It's these items that show us how to be safe and avoid danger in the workplace. And if you're looking for the best products to make this happen, look no further than Mighty Line. Mighty Line floor signs and floor markings offer the best industrial products out there. Go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. What makes Mighty Line the superior choice in keeping your facility safe and productive? Mighty Line Tape is the strongest tape on the market and has a beveled edge that increases durability for industrial brush scrubbers, forklifts, and heavy industrial wheel traffic. With easy installation and removal, thanks to Mighty Line's peel and stick backing, you can apply and reapply it during installation and it leaves no sticky residue if you need to remove it. This allows the ability to change workflow areas quickly and easily and you don't have the downtime that's associated with painting or using floor markings that leave behind a mess when you remove them. Mighty Line tape is seven times thicker than the average safety floor tape. Mighty Line signs and markings come in a variety of shapes, colors, and sizes. And if they don't have what you're looking for in stock, 
Their Customize It program allows you to create exactly what you're looking for. Mighty Line offers a limited three-year warranty on their floor signs and markings. And last but certainly not least, Mighty Line products are patented and proudly made in the USA. We're proud to have Mighty Line as the official floor sign and floor marking company for the Warehouse Safety Tips podcast and site. Again, go to MightyLineTape.com forward slash safety tips to request a sample pack of their incredible safety signs and floor markings. Now, back to the podcast. Next, it's time to standardize, which is basically revisiting those first three of the five S's on a regular basis and a frequent basis and evaluate the condition of the workplace. Now, over the years, there's been an additional S added to the mix, which actually makes the five S methodology a six S methodology, and that's safety. The addition of safety means that you should constantly be looking around your facility to identify issues that could possibly affect your staff, production, service, or your overall facility, and then work to eliminate those issues. And what in the past would have been the fifth S, but is now the sixth, is sustain. That's to maintain the standard and improve every day. This S allows you to strive for continuous improvement. If you visit WarehouseSafetyTips.com, you'll find the show notes for this episode. In those show notes, we provide the Japanese word for each corresponding step of the 5 or 6S methodology. And as previously mentioned, we'll dive deeper into each part of the 5S methodology on future podcasts and on our WarehouseSafetyTips.com site. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the basic layout of the new and improved 5S methodology. Thank you for listening to Episode 1 of Warehouse Safety Tips and have a safe day.